does argument. God say I am three in one God, yes. or does He say I'm he one God? He talks about the community of the Trinity, about yes. us. He says He uses words like we and us, referring to the Son, the Holy Spirit, and Himself. Moses, is Moses is God, right? No. Why not? Because He is a man made okay. by God. Do you know the word Elohim? Do you know the word Elohim? Is it singular or plural? I've heard of Elohim. I don't know what it translates to. Eloh, El is singular. Prefix him is making a plural. Yes. Is the word Elohim? Is the Elohim word plural? Yes. Yes. But Good. Moses is called an Elohim. So how many Moses in the Old Testament? Will you show me? Yeah. Let's see it. Exodus chapter Exodus seven, verse one. Exodus seven, verse one. And the Lord said to Moses, "See, I have made him like God to Pharaoh, and your your brother Aaron shall be your prophet." Okay. Like. Like, wait, not wait, as, wait, wait. Like, like an Elohim. In his, in like his, an Elohim. So that means Moses being but one. Like. It doesn't say he is God. It's Elohim. No, I said. Do I say? <laughs> do I say he's really God? You said he's Elohim. Is what you just said. That's what me. the that's what the actual words say in the original language. Elohim. This is what been How do you know? We can go to the actual no, language. Now, let me talk about. He shall speak for you yeah? to the people, and he shall be your mouth, and you shall be as God Let's to Let's go him. to the original. I'm gonna like your ass. Look here. I've got it already here. In the Bible hub. Okay, I'm and said the Lord unto Moses, See, I have made you Elohim. No. You see that? No. Here. And said the Lord unto Moses, See, I have made you Elohim. That's the word in Hebrew, Elohim. Okay, first of all, it's lowercase God. Look, look in Hebrew, it's Elohim. There's no lowercase or uppercase. It's Elohim. No. How can you even go to that law of semantics? It's lowercase. It's Elohim. You translate Elohim with a sim okay, smaller so case let's, because. Let's go with this. Let's say that you're right. Right. So what now, is your point? so now, <laughs> even if God described Himself in the plural form of a word, it doesn't make Him more than one. Moses was one person. That's not enough to make me believe that, though. I so, there's so way more evidence listen, in the scriptures listen. that God is is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Are they one? Is there any scripture God which says they're one? one. No. Oh, are there no. any scripture that the three persons are one? That blatantly says that God is three in one. Is that what you're none. wanting? Yeah. There, no, there's not some. There's exactly. a favor based. So why would God a not lot reveal to you something which is fundamental about his nature? That he's three in one, but he hasn't revealed it. Not he to. Has. I'm just telling you. This, this is, there's no verse that says. Uh, Why isn't there explicitly mentioned that in the Old Testament or the New? No, no, about God being one or two in twenty or three in one. Because if he's three in one, you would expect him to say that, no, right? No, God is recognized in the Scripture very clearly, multiple times, as God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Is that what Moses believed? Not as Moses. Is that Moses, not as, is that Moses sorry, believed that? Moses what? believed God is the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Moses did God was a reveal? Of, yes, did God know? Did God reveal to Abraham and Moses? That I am a Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and worship me accordingly. Say that again, sorry. I Did God reveal to his friend Abraham, the prophet, and to one of his great prophets, Moses, that I am Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and you should worship me? Yes. Where did God reveal that to Moses and Abraham? Because that's who God is. Where did God reveal that to Abraham and to Moses, who he is in that nature? I'm not tracking your question. I'm sorry. Do you understand? If, I'm if, not listening. I'm if, sorry. If God told Moses that I am Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Moses will tell the people that God is Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. Has he done that in his five books? There is no scripture that says that verbatim. But what you're wanting to know is why hasn't, why didn't Moses introduce, or Abraham, why didn't Abraham introduce God as God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Because God is not, God. yeah. Why did he introduce like that? But then you go back to the Torah, which is Yeah, I would like to know why not. Why, why did God not introduce to his friend, Abraham? He calls him his friend. You see, when I have my friend, friendship, close friendship is secrets between ourselves. We don't leave aside. And whether I am married or not, I'm one, I've got a family or not, my friend should know. Abraham, God took him as his friend. Did God tell Abraham, the prophet, peace be upon him, that I am a father and a son and the Holy Spirit, and when you worship me, Worship the Son as well, worship the Holy Spirit as well. Okay, if, if you, so you, okay, I know what you're getting at. I don't believe that because I don't, that's, I don't believe that 
I don't believe in the point you're trying to make. But what I would like to say is, well, but you're, you're saying that because it's not blatantly verbatim in the Bible, then it's wrong. No, but say what wrong or not? God reveals Himself all throughout the Bible. Okay, so we know for sure Jewish people, Jewish people did not believe in the Trinity. Throughout the prophets that came, they, all the prophets taught them monotheism, worshiping in one God. This one God doesn't have a father or a mother. No, or begotten sons and so on. One God. They worship him. One God. So you believe in three in one God or one God? Would you read this? So we return to the subject. Okay, go ahead. Would you you just read that? For yet there is but one God the Father, whom all things from whom all things came and from whom we live. And there is but one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom all things came and through whom we live. So now according to this verse of your Bible, for there is one God. And this one God is who? The Father, the Son, or the Spirit? Say it again, I'm sorry. According to this scripture, okay. for there is one God, and who is? Is He the Father, or the Spirit, or the Son? According You're to you. are asking who God is? No. To this? According to the author of this book, He says there is but one oh. God, and He is, He identify who it is. Is this one God the Father, or the Son, or the Spirit? Yes. Who? Yes. Now, who is it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look, is it the Father Who, yes, or the, the Son or the Holy Spirit? There is, there is, there is. Which one?